A massive fire broke out at a primary battery factory in Hwasang on Monday, leaving at least 22 dead. A joint investigation is set to take place this morning to determine the exact cause of the fire. And the search for the missing one person is still ongoing. Kim bo reports. Police and fire authorities will begin a joint investigation on Tuesday morning at 10.30 a.m. into one of the worst accidents to occur at a chemical factory in the country. It will involve around 30 people from six agencies, including the Gyeonggi Namu Provincial Police, which oversees Hwasong, along with fire authorities, the National Forensic Service, and other relevant organizations to determine the exact cause of the fire. Meanwhile, the search for the last missing person resumed at 7 a.m. on Tuesday morning. They are assumed to be inside the factory still, given their mobile phone location tracking results. A fire broke out at a lithium primary battery plant run by Arisol on Monday, leaving at least 22 workers dead. The first blaze broke out on the second floor of the number 3 building at 10.31 a.m., and the main fire reportedly became under control at around 3.10 p.m. A level 2 emergency response previously issued by fire authorities to ask for support from 8 to 14 fire stations was downgraded to level 1 at 9.51 p.m. At least 35,000 batteries are believed to have been inside this plant, and the CCTV footage released by the fire authorities showed a small amount of smoke coming from one battery. Fifteen seconds later, other batteries began to explode. At least 22 people lost their lives. 18 Chinese nationals among the 20 foreigners, one person from Laos, one unidentified foreigner, and the rest two Koreans. Among eight injured people, two are reportedly seriously injured. Firefighters reportedly face challenges in extinguishing the fire with water due to the explosive nature of lithium batteries. What made matters worse is that there are no manuals or safety guidelines for the primary batteries, as they are considered to have a low fire risk compared to secondary batteries. President Yoon Sagir visited the site of fire Monday afternoon, conveying his condolences and to urge fire authorities to thoroughly investigate the cause of fire. He added that the government should come up with comprehensive measures to completely extinguish the fire as early as possible, given the fires caused by chemical substances like batteries are difficult to put out with conventional methods. The Chinese ambassador to South Korea, Xin Haiming, also visited the site. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.